All right, guys, it is going to be Ido and Fallen. Looks like we might see a possible team count here in Losers Top 32. Of course, we did see Fallen go Robin and Ido go on and go. And Ido elect to go k roll here. So far, I kind of like the way that Fallen is making these plays with these arc fires. He's trying to space himself around k roll He does have this huge stage to actually work around with with k roll so he has space to move around. Like, so he sets up for that forward and immediately knowing where Ido was going to try to land. Alright, dash attack. Ido looking to get some advantage here. Goes for the down air and stops. Fallen from making the simple recovery, but he's able to still survive. Okay. Fallen kind of retreating back. There's the forward air. Ah, gets him in the board touch from the blunder bus and Fallen still able to survive here. Dips a little too low, unfortunately. All right, I know, able to walk away with that stock and victory in hands. Gets a down throw, no up air for Fallen. Nice, looking to get some empty hops there, possible tomahawk. There's the pivot grab, and I like that he even went for the up tilt, but I, Fallen able to finally get him with that back air. All right. Ido looking to move, now stay there, place on that platform with the blunderbuss. It's a dash attack. So far, the way the idols been playing has been pretty safe. You know, he knows he has fallen a bit of a disadvantage. Here, goes for a down air, able to safely land even on fallen shield. I like it. He even pushes up a little bit more up ahead with the cannonball, and even sets up the crown to see how fallen is going to go for the high uh, uh, for the jump option. All right, R five the stage. I like it. Step forward there. I know sets up the cannonball yet again. Here's a possible forward. And that forward tilt able to get it from Ido. Ido still in the lead against Fallen here. Up to two stocks, but 160%. See if Fallen can finally get something going here. Goes for the arc fire, unable to hit the stage here. And gives Ido enough time to come back. That Thoron not gonna kill. Of course, Kato is quite the heavy boy. Arc fire on the shield. Over there. No, oh, and he's on both players unable to recover, and of course, Ido is still able to walk away with a two stock victory in hands. Oh, never mind, they're coming back. Oh, wait, I guess we'll just finish this one. We'll just finish this. I mean, do you, you want to help me finish it or? Alright, cool. I'll sub out. Yeah. Three, one, one, oh god. Uh, Alright guys, what's, what's up everybody? Right How's everybody it? doing? I can't hear you. I can't hear you either. Alright, cool. Well, I hope we're live. I hope we're, uh, we're unmuted. Fallen vs. Ito. Uh, Fallen versus Ido. Is that it? I, I thought it was Ido. Have oh, I been saying it wrong oh, this no. whole time? One of us is right. It's fine. It's fine. One of we us is right. Both. So this is a, a San Diego classic, man. Yeah. This, these guys used to really they, duke it out. They were actually teammates yeah. uh, in doubles. So. You know how they did? Uh, I don't know exactly, but they were somewhere in top eight. So. Okay, nice. Uh, yeah, so Ido came into this game not wanting to play Meta Knight. Has been uh, playing a lot of pit and dark pit, yeah. but I guess the, the K rule has been working out today. Bringing out the big croc. This is uh, Loser's Top 32. I like it. I like the K roll pick, especially because you're going to be fighting a lot of people who are new to the game right. today. And even just new to this matchup. Uh, I love that setup, actually. That's amazing. Yeah. Oh, my Ooh. God. The animation is the same. <laughs> up smash and up and air up are the, air, yeah. the same exact thing. But yeah, the new the new character is going to throw off a lot of people. They're not yeah. quite familiar with this matchup, whereas people have years of experience against uh, right. the pits. 
Uh, and on the on a different token, Fallen is used to playing Rosalina. Uh, I don't know if he still likes Rosa in this game or not, but opting for a Robin in this matchup just to have a lot of projectiles to try to uh, outmaneuver K. Rule. The more I try to outmaneuver K. Rule with projectiles, the less I think it's a good strategy because his crown just goes through everything. Yeah, the, the best idea is have a reflector. Ooh. Ooh. Nearly getting with the. Yeah, this is an amazing edge guard by Ida so far. And tank yeah. the hit with that. That does have armor. Since yeah. He sticks his belly out. Whenever he shows his big belly, man, gotta watch out. All right, Ido in a commanding lead here for game two. Already up one game, so uh, looking to take. Oh wait, no, it's best of five. Not looking to take the set with this game. I apologize. Top 32 is all best of five, so we okay. got a we got a ways to go. Heck yeah. yeah, yeah. That's what I like to hear. Long sets for these players to adapt in. Yep, yep. If things go wrong, you might SD. You know exactly how to correct yourself in the next one. Dead even uh, in percent with Ido a full stock up. Yep. So he's kind of just chilling with this uh, projectile game. And forcing Robin to approach in this situation, which isn't the greatest because she's typically the one who wants to yeah. set up camp. Yeah, it's really rough. Uh, Ido's just been kind of commanding the stage with just one move, and it's just throwing his big crown out, showing the royalty. And uh, Robin seems to have a pretty tough time dealing with it. Once Robin gets in with arc fire, as you see there, she's able to uh, to start a chain, keep him up in the air. But man, oh, it just really oh. feels like uh, Ido is able to capitalize a lot more on all of his hits, especially edge guards. Uh, it's so hard to edge guard uh, K. Rule yeah. if you can't really get up underneath him. So a lot of characters like Pichu and Pikachu with their thunder or Falcon can just up B him over and over. But if you can't get underneath him, it's almost impossible to throw something out there will work. Yeah, typically I would say sword characters are. Oh, oh my, my god, god, dude. I don't. You ain't coming back. Come nope, on. absolutely not. Up 2 0 oh, over uh, one of SoCal's very best fallen. 18 time PGR fallen. Heck yeah, all time PR. <laughs> These are two incredible players from our region, both yep. from San Diego, as we mentioned before. But yeah, I think uh, one character, like characters that can edge guard. K rule very well are like the sword characters, the Marth, Lucina's, they can get to the side. Yep. And uh, up, like to the side where the propeller hitbox isn't, you can you can just keep swatting them out of the sky until they no longer make it back. But although Robin has a sword, it's <laughs> not quite as much range as right. your typical sword character. Putting yourself off stage as Robin, I, with her buffed recovery, it's still a bad idea yeah. too, because it, it is buffed, but the hitbox is still underneath you. And as we saw, K rule, I think all three of those stocks were just big edge guards. And I don't, I, we're going to see Fallen actually switch to uh, Inkling. That is a pink I, crocodile, dude. I love, I love this. So that's like a max ink right there. Yeah. After a certain threshold, like, you don't do more damage, but the duration of the right. of the buff, the debuff lasts longer. So your opponent takes more damage when they're in ink. Okay, so I'm already liking this uh, a little more for Fallen. Able to have a little bit better frame data than Robin has. Not as yeah. many projectiles, but he can get, or Inkling can get in K. Rule's face much easier yeah. and just stay there and just up, keep pressure up all the time. Has really good mix ups with landing grabs into up airs uh, or just an air and back air in general. Good hitboxes to contend with K. Rule. So this seems like a good pick. Seems to be working so far. Yeah, I like it a lot. After all, like you mentioned, the frame data is there. And not only that, but the ink mechanic helps a lot. Yeah. K. Rule is so heavy, you're going to want to do yeah. all that extra damage. You can already see. Ido already at 171, going to survive a little bit longer. This is getting a little oh. scary. OK, I was going to say, it's a little scary, though, if this K. Rule is able to make yeah. it back. Ido could do some big damage but uh, with his down throw. But can uh, get down there and hit him from yeah. the side, as we mentioned before. Uh, has a really, really far reaching up B, and he yep. can even uh, quote unquote triple jump with the, <laughs> yeah. with the roller. Yeah, so a lot of tools to uh, combat K. Rule offstage. Like I said, it's working out so far. Ido looking to even this up, though, if he takes this stock uh, without you know, putting on too much damage. 7% is uh, wonderful <laughs> for Ido. So just evens it right back up. Oh my god, dude. Every move that you get hit by just feels so hefty. Yeah, Fallen has no shield right now. 67% in the last 10 seconds. All right, Ido off stage. Makes it back to the ledge. Fallen just really trying to wall out with aerials and then kind of trick his opponent as to when he's going to go in. So I, I saw him throw out like just a couple faint aerials, like just in case K. Rule's going to run in. But K. Rule's not really the character to do that. So. And I uh, like the, the uh, game plan he's going for here, where it's like if, if he can get out there and edge guard K. Rule, he'll do so. But for the most part, he's just setting up the ledge trap with the splat bomb. Yep. Tried to suck him up there. I don't know what that move's called, but it's really wacky. 
<laughs> cannon? Yeah. Yeah. The wacky cannon. Ooh. Oh, no stage spike coming out from Fallen. It's a big grab. He might actually die. Oh, he doesn't get the, the correct mix up from the down throw. And uh, Fallen lifts to see another day. Oh my oh, god! <laughs> he just sucked him up from the top platform. That move just looks so silly. Like, it doesn't actually look like it's supposed to do anything to you, but it's so deadly. It doesn't look like it should kill it. No, absolutely not. Well, it doesn't. Here we are. All right, so Make once it. again, yeah, Ido with a big lead. Fallen happened to find his way back. Gets the up air to even up the stock count. 23% is not that big of a deal, but if he gets thwomped like two or three more times, he's going to be in the danger of getting KO'd. There's one thwomp. There's two thwomps. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, something I've noticed as well, like, Ido is uh, doing a really great job of preventing Ink from getting on himself. Yeah, that's so he's true. he's realized what moves Fallen has been using to, you know, smother him with the Ink and right. just avoiding those attacks. And then when he does have the Ink, he doesn't really go in and challenge or anything because he knows he's going to take more damage. So he kind of backs off and just lets it wear off. Similar to how you would deal with Shulk, like Shield Monado. Yeah, exactly. Like, you just don't want to do that at it, all. It's a similar like mechanic to like a, a kind of like a limit. It's like a yeah, yeah, sure. For, yeah. for Inkling. Or right. a debuff for K. -Rod. Right, right. The opposite effect. All right, so Ido just looking for that kill, but in doing so, he's actually, uh, Fallen's managed to rack up quite a bit of damage and is in a favorable position right now. Got him at the ledge. If he can trap him, maybe this time could seal his stock. Ido trying to fight his way out of the corner, gets there with the crown. They're both kind of scared right now. Fallen, this is his tournament life right now. If he gets grabbed, that's his tournament, basically. Up throw, up air, barely not killing. Another upper might do him in. He goes to the back here, gets a sour hit. Oh, big nair from Ido puts him in advantage state. All he has to do is get a grab or a forward tilt. He's got plenty of mix-ups. Fallen finds his way back to the stage. <gasps> oh, I don't know who hit who. No Dude, he He's not dead. So deep for that back air. Okay, Woo! back air will do it. Oh, that my was nice. God, that was dude. Nice. What a comeback from Fallen. That was crazy. Yeah, the inkling worked out much better than the Robin. I like it a lot. I mean, he managed to pull himself back into the set. One game to Ido's two. Yep. But I like the inkling pick because he was able to play a lot more safe at the ledge. He, like, set up the, uh, the splat bomb or play at a safe distance right. where he can throw the splat bomb. And it's just a constant threat for K. Rool, who's such a, a big body, whereas with Robin, he didn't have like that much of a, a tool. The, the, the area of effect for this platform is pretty large as well when it explodes. So. All right, both of them gonna stick to these characters for now. No switch from Ido to the pit to counterplay. So uh, he must feel pretty confident. That game was really, really close. Just very last hit. Um, again, the game starts the exact same way where K. Rool just gets completely doused in ink and uh, Fallen is able to rack on a lot of percent. Already 70% and K roll off the stage. Imagine if that was a skin. Up. He doesn't want to get hit by the propeller at yeah, all. Yeah, like. exactly. There's no reason. I, yeah, yeah it, it, they don't have to go really, really low like you saw in the last stock of the of the last game. There's there's not much reason to contest it, especially a low percent. You're just taking unnecessary yeah. damage all the way up. 125% though. Ball making quick work of this first Ooh. stock. If he can get a KO here, nice. up throw, up air does confirm into the kill at an extremely high percent on a heavy K rule. Finds a stock nonetheless, and he's got a solid lead now with a fresh stock attack. <laughs> I don't look it for it. Yeah, so a big thing about K. Rool is like once he takes a lead, you kind of are forced to play his game and fall into his armor and his traps. So Fallen having this lead right now is actually huge. It's one of the first leads he's had uh, since we started commentating at least. I don't know how game one went, but um, yeah, Fallen can really just take his time here, just throw as much ink as possible, get as much damage. He, he's in a really good spot to take this to a game five. Already 102%. He's barely been touched this stock because K. Rool is the one who's forced to come to him. And uh, Inkling has so much mobility that it's really hard for a K. Rool to lock you down when you're not falling for K. Rool things. President, just go for the immediate grab. The forward throw is like one of your main tools to ink your opponent. Oh, right. he finds oh, the parry though. That's yeah. Good, yeah, yeah. Ooh, three to one now. It's the first roller that I've seen him really yeah, even throw out. Uh, <laughs> he's thrown out a couple, but it didn't seem like he really was taking Okay. Ido able to uh, seal out the first stock, but he's still got two to go. Fallen, like I said, in a really good position to take this to game five. Oh, this could, oh yeah, I was, I was gonna say if Ido could somehow spike him, but zero percent, I don't think he was in any danger of actually uh, losing this stock. I got ahead of myself. Still scary. Yeah, no, it's, yeah, it's a really scary position to be in, no matter what percent you're in. 
new game, anything can happen. <laughs> and who knows, you may be holding you know, your, your input, you get, you get an air dodge. Still happens even to the best of us. Okay. I know, really struggling to get back to center. Finally finds his way there, punishes the roller. He needs a quick early kill, though, in order to have a chance at this game. This could be it. Yeah, Fallen. Um, getting a little like ambitious. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just like trying to down air a propeller. Oh, that might be it. He recovered in an angle where Fallen could have covered it, but uh, just outside the range of the back air Ooh. does get the stock. So he basically can't get touched, but this is doable, uh, especially for a character that is. Never mind. <laughs> oh, no, he's lying. Okay, especially for a one. character oh, that nice. is. Uh, Using is, the neutral air to armor through right. that second up air. Like, if you can theoretically armor through the couple of kill moves that uh, Fallen is going to, you know, send out, maybe Fallen starts getting frustrated. Ido gets him to a percent where he can kill him with a smash attack. But yeah, Ido has to play this almost perfectly at this point. 217 damage. Oh my god, the propeller actually puts him in an advantageous position. He's got center stage, gets rollered, and that is going to be game five. All the time in the world. Man. Yeah. 217. Uh, no mashing is going to help you there, man. Yeah. No beefy smash dudes video is going to get you out of the ground fast enough. <laughs> Absolutely not, man. All right, so we got game five between uh, the two titans of San Diego. I actually don't even know if Ido's still down in San Diego, but he used to be a titan of San Diego. That's how I remember him. For, for, as, as far as I'm concerned, he's, he's a San Diego player. Yeah. He's a San Diego player. Either way, two yeah. titans of SoCal, you know? Yeah. These, guys, these guys made a huge name in Smash 4 for themselves. Uh, Ido really pioneered a lot of the Meta Knight stuff. Uh, MK Leo was the one to, to really use it, but Ido invented a lot of the stuff that, uh, that you saw being used, actually. I mean, I, before MK Leo really like, started coming up in Smash 4, obviously people knew the name yeah, yeah, prior, yeah. but before that, it was kind of Idol was the go-to. Yeah, like, he was the MK. Okay. And uh, Fallen pioneering a lot of the stuff with the uh, with uh, Rosalina. Uh, a lot of the stuff that you saw the Buzz do. Uh, Fallen was the one who discovered it all. So, two amazing players who really understand Smash at its core. And uh, right now, man, Fallen putting on a show. Is this a reverse 3-0 if he gets this? Yeah. He just needs a strong oh, back air right now, yeah. It is. Yep. Oh, Ido tried to drift away there. I like that he's using the air dodge, just so that he has a little bit more wiggle room when he's up being. Oh my god, yeah. this is this has been going on for far too long. Oh, okay, okay, and, okay, okay. And, and just like you said, the air dodge in that case actually, yep. he directional air dodge towards the stage so that you can get underneath it without getting back air. Right. And once you're right below the lip, it's a lot easier to propel yourself when you're yep. So uh, I don't count his lucky stars right now, man. Again, over the 200% mark, but still living and still with a chance to take this first. <laughs> All right, we're going to the second stock. I lied. For a second, I thought the splat bomb was going to get sucked yeah. up and shot back. Oh, that's my God. And just like that, when these guys have each other off stage, that's where they rack up all their percent. I feel like they barely ever actually do any combos in neutral. Yeah, it's, it's just throwing you off stage and then capitalizing as much as possible. Mostly a battle of edge guards and yeah. ledge trapping, for sure. And they both have really good tools to do that with right. K rule. He has the crown and the cannonball. All right. Rolls up onto the stage, goes for the immediate down smash, but it doesn't quite connect the way that Ido would have liked. Uh, Fallen just starting to run away with it, man. The inkling pick has really paid off. Facing these backers or yeah. Ido shield. Yeah, it seems like K Rule has a pretty tough time oh. dealing with that move. Uses the hitbox from up B to extend Ooh. this edge guard. I don't know how much longer he's going to be able to take these. Yeah. Uh, but <laughs> it's not looking good for it. the crocodile, oh. man. Nice forward air. That's Going it. deep once again. Fallen with three stocks up to Ido's one. We're I about to witness a reverse. Yeah. 3 0. I mean, at a time, Fallen was looking pretty lost, yeah. honestly, but uh, he's either just downloaded the K Rule. And, and the silly things that K. Rule kind of does in neutral that you have to get used to because he's a very different character. He yeah. does not feel like your average character. Or he's just figured out Ido in yeah. general. And, and, and I mean, the, the, we can't forget the, the Inkling pick as yeah, well. He, yeah. he had gone Robin for the first couple of games. Right, the Inkling Much is better character this time, out. but yeah, that's not true. as great as Not as good as Inkling. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ido starting to breathe a little bit of sign of life here. Again, though, 96. He's lived at 200, so technically he's only halfway dead. Yeah, so if he can, you know, manage to not take any percent on this stock yeah. and 
stay relatively safe for the next. He, he can do it. Not if uh, Fallen has anything oh, to say. Oh, he no. misses the tech at the ledge, and Fallen is going to reverse 3 0 Ido to make it further in the losers bracket of top 32. I mean, sad. In a way, it's always sad to see a player.